My name is Errol Toulon Jr. I am the first African-American sheriff in the history of the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office, and I'm a 20-year pancreatic cancer survivor. I had Hodgkin's lymphoma in 1996. Every year I went for my annual scans. In 2002, my oncologist asked me to go for a PET scan, eventually doing a test called an ERCP, and I was formally diagnosed with pancreatic carcinoma. I was in a little bit of disbelief, really not understanding the gravity of it. When I spoke to several medical professionals, it gave me the perspective that, you know, my life could be over very soon. Originally, when I first was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, I thought I wasn't going to see my two sons graduate from grammar school. And when I was diagnosed with pancreatic carcinoma, I thought for sure I was not going to see either one of them graduate from high school. And then you start to think about your whole life and how can you have to deal with another battle with cancer. The uh, course of treatment wasn't going to be chemotherapy or radiation right away. It was going to be a Whipple procedure. I never forget when I was wheeled onto the elevator and my wife and my parents were at the door thinking that, as I said, I love you, it could possibly be the last time that you know, I saw them and they saw me. In the days afterward, visiting hours was pretty restricted and it was very challenging just to try and emotionally get through that. But somehow I would find peace in what, what I was going through. That time alone where I could reflect on what was going on, what I would possibly do with my life if I was able to somehow get better and more importantly, try and be a, a better person. I was a captain with the New York City Department of Correction. Pancreatic carcinoma ultimately caused me to retire from the department. As I started to get better, I realized that I needed something to do to keep my mind fresh. I went back to school and got my bachelor's degree, got a master's degree, an MBA, a postgraduate degree in Homeland Security Management, and then eventually a doctoral degree in Educational Administration. I was a professor at one of the local colleges here. I also then became the Assistant Deputy County Executive for Public Safety, and it gave me a great perspective of what the constituents in Suffolk County are really experiencing and their concerns. I was asked to enter the race for sheriff. I was up to uh, a challenge, whether I actually won the election or not, but just to push myself to do something that I generally would not have done, I was declared the winner by 2,100 votes. I think the path of having pancreatic cancer and also Hodgkin's lymphoma has made me a much more compassionate person. I really try to look at what could possibly be leading someone to have some sort of actions that may not be something that we all deem appropriate. Maybe someone's going through some sort of personal crisis in their life, health issues, financial issues, relationship issues. I think that having pancreatic cancer has really enabled me to have open eyes to humanity. My first wife, we were married 29 years when she passed away, was probably the rock that kept me going. There were many times when I felt like giving up. She rallied my two sons, my parents. So I was very, very lucky. I had some really good friends. I coached several hockey teams and soccer teams and, and it really became a community. And I really feel that when people are diagnosed with, with traumatic illnesses, a community should rally around that individual to try and help him or her through this. And if at any point you have no one to speak to, please feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you, happy to talk to you about my experience and hopefully guide you to the success that I've had. Please, please, please never give up.